Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly how to remove the PlayStation 5 controller's cover and to disassemble it. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So it's very easy to take apart your PlayStation 5 controller. And I'm just going to be using a couple tools and this tool is simply going to allow me to take off this little cover and it has a flat little edge on it as you can see and also just a cool little screwdriver here. So this is a two millimeter screwdriver it looks like appears and this is very helpful. Now I just bought this kind of handy set for Amazon it's called the Techman and it's got a bunch of tools that helps me take apart my PlayStation controllers. So, now let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is take apart the faceplate, this black rim right here. And I'm going to flip my controller over. And I'm going to create some separation right here. Lift that up and do the same thing on the other side. So this is relatively easy. The only hard part is sometimes it gets stuck right here and it doesn't want to come off. So now I can just lift it up. And you may want to go ahead and create some separation right here as well on the bottom so let's do that and this should just pop up really easily now all right excellent now let's pull this off right here may get stuck along the touchpad great this is what it looks like let's put this to the side now we want to remove the bumpers right here and this is easy as well and it doesn't require a lot of effort or force. So just in the middle here, let's lift up, pop up, boom. So this is the L1. Let's remove that, put that to the side. Now let's do the R1. Let's just go in the middle, lift up. Doesn't take a lot of force whatsoever. So if you are exerting yourself, be careful. You might be breaking your controller. Now when you take this off, you're going to expose some screws right here. You're going to need to remove plus additional ones on the bottom where you remove the face cover. So let's use my screwdriver now and remove those. I would say remove it kind of like this first. If you're lifting up your controller like this and you're trying to remove it, well, there's a chance that when you actually get the screw out, it's going to fall back into your controller. So I'd say put it on the ground kind of like this facing down and then remove it. So let's remove these four screws and then continue. And if you have a slightly magnetic screwdriver, this will be very helpful removing these screws. All right, here's the last screw. And another thing I wanna say is if you're accidentally pressing the PlayStation button right here, your controller is gonna turn on and turn on your PlayStation 5. And that can get a little bit annoying. So you may want to disconnect your PlayStation 5 from the wall outlet Otherwise, it's going to continue to turn on. Okay, so all four screws are removed, and I'm going to place those to the side. Now what we want to do is create some separation on the edges of the controller. Right here. So let's take my tool and just kind of move it along the side here and go up and down. And just create some separation on the top here. Okay, so there's a little bit of a gap. Now let's do the same on this side. So this is looking good. And once we have separation right there, now what we want to do is focus near the microphone. And there's going to be two little things we have to lift up. So let's just slide this tool right in between those. Just like that. And just like that. Perfect. As you can see, it kind of went down after that. The sides are looking good. Perfect. Now let's flip our controller over. And then lift up. And towards the triggers. And it should just come off easily now. Just like this. And it looks like it's kind of hanging up. Perfect. So that came off relatively easy. Now here's our battery. You may be removing your cover, maybe to spray paint it. 
or you may be wanting to remove the battery and replace your battery so you can lift up your battery right here and then be careful when removing this now I have this cool little pliers like this otherwise you can use your hands if you're gonna be gripping the wires be extremely careful when doing that now with these it kind of makes it a little bit easier because I can get right under it and then slowly lift up you don't want to rip those wires otherwise you are gonna to have to buy a new battery so once you get this up and out of the way you should be good to go and just about got it be very careful and it has removed now all right so here's your battery you're gonna be replacing that then you got one screw here for the battery cover so let's just go ahead and do that on the video as well and I'll just show you this board so you got one screw right here okay so I kind of lifted that up now another thing you got to be aware about is the microphone right here you may have to just lift this up and out of the way so you can easily just detach it right here there's a little wire just be careful and this entire thing should lift up and boom this is what it looks like underneath then if you're going to remove this you'll have a wire right here here and the sides then you should be able to get to your thumbsticks relatively easily so let's just remove those as well and you may have to like lift up on some of these all right so let's remove this okay so that's removed now let's get this little one down here okay so I got that one too now the sides okay so this one's lifting up just be very careful now let's get this one all right so everything should be removed now and I should be able to pull this through the front so let's just slowly bring this up and boom now you have access to your thumbsticks right here on the sides so if you want to go ahead and fix those if there's any kind of issues as well as the USB port right here so these should just pop off too just like that if you're having problems with your thumbsticks that's how you would go ahead and access those so hopefully this video did indeed help you take apart your PlayStation 5 controller if it did go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.